Welcome back. I'm Professor Steele, and now we are going to do a thinking problem using the law of cosines. So here is a typical problem setup. Two ships leave the harbor at the same time. First ship sails north 23 degrees west at 20 knots. The second ship sails north 41 degrees east at 22 knots. How far apart are the ships after four hours? So the first thing you always wanna do in a situation like this is sketch a diagram. And if you notice, I have my harbor. Uh, now here's the tricky part. North 23 degrees west, which ship is that one? Well, if we know this is due north, and I have a little compass over here, then north 23 degrees west would be the first ship. So this would be ship A, and there is the 23 degree measurement. The second ship, north 41 degrees east, so there's north 41 degrees east, this is ship B. And mind you, the distance they've traveled, I've just drawn arrows, but really we don't know how far. We need to calculate that because we need measurements for these two sides since we have the included angle. Recall our law of cosine says, as long as I have two sides of a oblique triangle and the included angle, so this would be our B and our C, the included angle would be angle A, I can figure out the third measurement, the third side. So we need to figure out how far ship A has traveled. If we are traveling 20 knots, and note, knots, we are going to assume that a knot is one nautical mile. So after four hours, how far has ship A traveled? So ship A has traveled, let's see, 20 knots or nautical miles times four hours, that would be 80 miles. So ship A has traveled 80 miles. Similarly for ship B, 22 knots for four hours. So ship B has traveled 88 miles. So we have all the pieces that we need to use our law of cosines. We have 80 plus 88, 80 squared plus 88 squared minus two times the quantity 80 times 88 cosine of the angle in between. Now recall from the diagram, we have the 23 degrees and the 41 degrees, which gives us a total of 64 degrees. Now, when you use your calculator to find the value, make sure you don't add these two quantities and subtract this without multiplying this quantity first. If you're using Desmos or a calculator, you can put it all in and the calculator will make sure that it gives you the final answer. Make sure your calculator is in degrees. The value of this, 7,971.73. Remember, this is a squared, so we need to take the square root of this, which gives us 89.3, approximately. So after four hours, the ships are about 89 miles apart. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe to Advantage and we'll see you next time.